Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Ross. I'm a geneticist, and I'm doing this unboxing video, of most nerdy unboxing video ever, a family tree DNA testing kit. I'm going to begin my DNA journey. The reason that I'm doing this video is to show students in my upcoming human genetics class how to open and use the family tree DNA genetic testing kit. So the first thing to note is that this is how the testing kit comes. It's sealed. And one important thing to note is there's a code on each kit that's essential for family tree DNA processing this kit. This serial number is connected to a password that only the user of the kit has. And that password and the serial number on the kit have to match in order to have this kit be processed. So it's important to keep the packaging of this kit. Make sure that you save that code. So break the seal and let's see what we've got inside. Ancestry testing process is really straightforward. So yeah, time to begin. Family tree DNA. Follow these instructions carefully. Keep this card with your important documents. So the first thing is verify the kit number. So that they're gonna ask the two vials, each kit collects two biological samples per person, need to match. And this gives us just a quick walkthrough about collecting your DNA, how to do it, and some important reminders about your consent form you have to sign and some shipping information that you don't have to worry about if you're in the United States. So they say that you need to be able to sign into your account in order to use this kit. If this is a gift, which is true for this class, the email used to purchase the kit is associated with your account. So you'll have to contact me and I'll give you the password that's associated with, again, the serial number on the kit. So let's see what else is in the box. We've got a bag that's gonna be required for sending back the samples. Again, it's got that same barcode with the same, hopefully, number, MK85407. So again, make sure those match. We've got prepaid shipping envelope, excellent. It's gonna send your samples back to the company. Got the order information form. Mail this form back with your kit. Make sure again that barcode and serial number corresponds with all of the other materials that you've been given. Enter your information, name, address, postal code, country, phone number, email address, where to send your password. I have the passwords for these kits. And gender of test taker, male or female, we must have gender to process order. Okay, and don't worry about the bottom half, that's all payment stuff that's already been done. The reason that they need gender to process the order is because there are two genetic sexes in humans. So we're not talking about various sexual orientations or sexual preferences. We're talking about genetic sex. When they say gender, not the right word. What they're talking about is genetic sex. If you are genetically male, which not everybody is, by the way, not this is not a binary in humans either, male or female. There are individuals that don't have an X and a Y chromosome, which is what they mean by male, or two X chromosomes, which is what they mean by female. But that's the information you should use when you select one or the other of those boxes. They have to have that information to process the DNA information that they collect from your sample. So this is not about your gender orientation, your sexual identity, your sexual preferences. It's, do you have an X and a Y chromosome or do you have two X chromosomes? Again, there are other humans that don't fall under either of those two categories. But the main thing is they want to know if you have a Y chromosome, which is phenotypically male, or if you don't have a Y chromosome. That's essentially that question that they're asking. Okay, so fill in the top part. You don't need to do the bottom part with payment information. Okay. 
Now, as promised, here's that green consent form, which you'll need to read and sign. You consent to converting your physical sample to DNA data and some other things here. You consent to the collection and processing of DNA. Check out my video on the Family Tree DNA Terms of Service and Privacy Policy before you complete this. Your name, your date of birth, again, sex, male or female, again, that's do you have a Y chromosome or not? And your signature and your printed name, that also has to go back with your kit. Again, double check, make sure that the serial number is the same as all of the other materials you've had so far. And finally, at the bottom of the kit, we get to the sample collection. Two sterile swabs and two vials that contain a little liquid in them. So we got two of those. Again, double check and make sure that the serial numbers match because these have been stuck on. The stickers are actually not quite totally adhered to the vials. And this is one of the reasons that mistakes could be made during the ancestry testing process if some stickers come off of samples in the laboratory as they're being processed. Okay, so I'm just double checking against all of those barcodes they've given me to make sure that it's all matching and it does. So let's see what we need to do. So, so far, I've done the right thing, placed unopened swabs and vials on a clean level surface. I'm gonna take a swab out of the package and scrape the inside of one cheek, rotating the swab for 45 seconds. And by the way, important point, you don't wanna contaminate your DNA sample with other things, so don't eat, drink, or chew gum for an hour prior to the cheek swab. So here we go. Unfortunately, you're not gonna see this part. I'll probably edit this part out of the video. There's my swab. It kinda looks like a COVID-19 swab to me. All right, 45 seconds have passed. I've been swabbing my cheek. Now we go to the next step. So open a vial, and remember, there's liquid inside that vial. So we wanna be working in a place where there's a solid surface to place the vial, trying not to tip it over. And then notice that there's a black spot on this swab and it asks you to snap off the tip of the swab into the vial. So you place the vial against like that. Now I've lost the tip of that swab, it's down there in that vial, so you can throw away the stick that was part of the swab. Twist tight, it says. Seal that vial, and that's one sample. So now we do the other sample, other cheek. So second swab, I'm gonna collect some cheek cells from the other cheek. So rub it vigorously on the inside of your cheek, all over all sides of the swab, 45 seconds, then repeat the process with the other vial. So there's another swab, another vial. Try not to spill the liquid, although they do say if you do spill some of the liquid, send the sample and the vial back anyway. They still might be able to get DNA out of it. One more stick, vial with the swab head in it. There we go. So, a pair of samples, one from the inside of each cheek containing lots of cheek cells that they can extract DNA from and the, then do the DNA analysis. So again, sign this consent form, add that to the envelope, right, prepaid envelope. You send this back to Family Tree DNA. It's already postage paid. And last thing, place the sealed bag and the consent form inside the shipping envelope, but don't put the consent form in the bag. Put the two vials 
in the provided plastic bag, which should have, again, that same barcode. Make sure they all match. And this bag is just a requirement for shipping biological samples in the United States. So seal that. Put that bag, two samples, and the green consent form, and your order information form with your personal information back in this envelope together, seal it, drop it in a mailbox, and then wait and find out when you get your DNA test information back. Family Tree DNA doesn't specify how long it will take. Obviously, it depends on volume and around the holidays, for example, it could take a lot longer. But when they do receive your sample, you should get an email that indicates that your sample has been received, and then you should get another email again when your samples are done being processed. That's the family DNA, family tree DNA, excuse me, test kit. Thanks for watching, and I'm looking forward to seeing what we discover in class.